let's look at the listing of the customers and we're going to talk about HTML grids. Now in this grid we can actually sort by the fields that you click on up there. You can also look at previous and next results if there are a lot of results in there. And that's an exercise just to be able to get that to display that way and I can just show you some of the details of that. We're going to concentrate on HTML grids themselves and what the details are. You can see we can scroll across and edit or delete and sort like I mentioned and we have another way of viewing this a little bit more formatted. You can use this as you need to and spice it up in different ways using CSS or as you wish. If you click in the arrays section with multi-dimensional arrays you can see a very clean looking chart here and you can try to mimic this in how you are actually going to put this together. I explained that in that particular video in the arrays section. You can take this and use this in a shell or as a shell for some of your own examples. But even in PHP My Admin, you can see that there's a little bit of a extension going on here. It's not as formatted as it could be, but it is formatted nicely with rollovers and things like that. And you can view that code as well because it is source code that you can take a peek at. But you get the idea. Over here, we're looking at that list file. And what you can do is you can have a start limit, number of rows, and then we can sort by and have a sort order. These are different fields that are going to be added to the links here. When you click on things here, you can see that echoed out here. And that's going to be on the fields we're calling our page here, the page self, PHP self here. That's going to cause this to actually output the actual page name here. And then we can add the question mark and a parameter list. Now this is going to have the different sort by here. You're going to sort by and then you're going to specify a sort order. You can also limit this to a certain amount here that you can change. Start at a particular start and then limit per page with limit based on how many rows are going to be added. So you can add more rows and see that functionality but I'm sure you've seen that in your travels. But the code is there for you to take a peek at. We're looking at the grid functionality to change the colors here. We use the mod again, just like the arrays, where we're going to take the number here and see if it's an even or odd number based on modulus. If there's a remainder, if it equal equals zero, meaning that there's no remainder here, then we're going to make it white. Otherwise, if it's an odd number, it has a remainder, we're going to turn it into a gray color. And then this is where we take those variables from the database, they're passed as a result, the fields, into our local variables here in this page as we've used before. And this is all within the while. And then we just echo those out. We don't have to do that step, but we do. It makes it less complex and you can see the steps. And then we actually have the edit where we would edit by the customer ID or delete by the customer ID as we've seen. So that's for the most part how that works. Just the table formatting is in a different way there. If you want to uncomment the echo here, you can see that we can take a peek at this SQL statement and we'll refresh. And then you can see the syntax. Select star from customer, order by company, and we're going to put it in descending order, space DESC, space limit to 10 rows. That's what is placed in there by default. Selecting company, last name is going to switch it to last name and order it by that. And then we have ascending order for the middle name, descending order for the first name, and it changes depending on what you select and the functionality there that's in place there. State province. And you can see when you click it twice, it knows what it used to be and it's doing the reverse ascending to descending. And that's the actual SQL syntax. You can put that into PHP my admin and see how that works. And then you can actually add more data here in the table and see how that works as well. This grid here is just added. You can comment that out and it's just doing things a different way, very similar. And you can see it's formatted differently. That's all. And the fields here are placed in a different way as opposed to across here like that. So you can take a peek at that as you wish, but this for the most part would be how you can put together an HTML grid with many different ways to actually extend it or use it as you wish.